Hi guys and welcome to Wednesday stream instead of Tuesday stream because I couldn't get on on Tuesday so I thought I'm going to come on now. So this is for anyone that watches this back. It is a live stream so they might be chatting and we're going to get into how I colour these koi fish with the Prismacolors and with a Posca pen. I'm just grabbing the chat and then we're going to get into it. Hi, hello, Francis. We're late here in the UK. In the UK, I'm streaming at 11.12. Hi, y'all. So, yeah, guys, I'm sorry. I really couldn't get on yesterday. I had a poorly dog. Hi. And um, I thought instead of doing no stream at all, I'm going to come on and do the koi fish because I've been asked how I do them. And it's really easy, really simple. Technique is really effective with a Posca pen. I know, sorry Francis, I'm gonna be going to bed in an hour. Um, so that's what I'll quickly come on. I've got a picture. I'm not gonna do the picture, I'm just gonna use the koi. Hiya! I'm just gonna use the koi fish as the example. Um, so I thought I'd quickly jump on stream now and show you how I do this, how effective it can be once you put it down. Hi Tess! And we'll go into that. It's not going to be my usual stream today because yesterday was meant to be my usual stream. And yeah, Chip was up all night the night before being sick. So I couldn't get on and I was like, I'm so sorry, but I literally had like three hours sleep. So I have grabbed some pencils. That I think it's going to be what I need in my Prismacolors. I'm not going to use all of these. Yeah, he's, he's better today. He is much better, thank you. And um, we're going to get into doing it. So I'll just quickly talk you through what I did and then I'll show you the demonstration. So for anyone that wants to know how to colour koi carp, this is how I do it. You can do individual scales and you can do them without any of the black markings. But if you look, a lo look at a lot of koi fish, they do have like this black marking all over them. So I've recently done it in my serene picture. Hi Alicia. And on here you can see that I've pretty much sort of gone with the colours and I've put my own speckles in. It was the same with this one. This is from Kelly O'Gorman's 2017 calendar and this is from Serene uh, by Nick Filbert. So I have picked out a koi fish that is really good for me to be able to show you and this is from the flora and fauna by kelly o'gorman so it's from a to z and i'm going to be showing you on this koi fish here how i do it and you can apply it to any koi fish in any of your coloring books hi zoe thank you for joining me so i'm going to use this as my example page and we're going to pretty much do this so i can show you how to achieve that same look on how your koi fish can come out. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. That's the thing, because I'm later here in the UK, I'm um, 20 past 11 at night almost. For you guys in the US, it's probably a better time for you and I'll probably get more that it's more convenient for, but I mean, this isn't my usual time to stream, so, you know. I'm gonna jump in, I'm gonna show you how I color koi fish. I'm gonna zoom you in. And we're gonna do this koi fish in this book here. And I, I think that's nice and near. Um, Zoe, what is my favorite coloring book? I, Serene, <laughs> Serene. Hi Robin. Hi Crystal, hi everyone. So I'm gonna do some Prisma colors. I will use other mediums on other tutorials, but I use Prismacolors mostly because that's what people have. So I've just grabbed some pencils, and what I always say, to achieve the look that I like, I always go for a very light orange, a medium orange, or a darker orange, you can sort of go between the three, and then I like a sort of medium, dark, and Tuscan red so you've got some reds and some oranges that you can play around with and then of course your Posca pen which I have the black bullet tip Posca and I think it's in one one millimeter or one sorry this one here <laughs> this is the one that I've got 
So I'm going to show you how I do it. And I'm going to get my first colour, which will be the Prismacolor in yellowed orange. Alicia, no, I didn't have an anxiety attack, hon. I, um, I just wasn't, I was not at all with it yesterday because I was up the night before. But no, no, no anxiety attacks. So I'm going to put this first down. And with my yellowed orange, I go from... The area on the outside and into the middle. You're going to use your reds to go over the scales, but you're just going to sort of go from a heavy pressure to a lighter pressure. So this is how I pretty much do all my koi carps. So this is the lightest shade. I've got a few tutorials coming up, guys. Some of them will be on live stream because that's mostly what I do and I'm going to try and pre-film one and do that in two parts but it's so hard to get pre-filmed stuff because it's just the memory you need on your phone but how are you all anyway? So I always go from the outside inwards um, as I'm coming into the middle, my pressure is next to nothing. So, you're just covering the entire area with your lightest colour. Yeah, I'm mostly Tess. I'm mostly a... Yeah, I think it was Kate, Alicia. Because Kate suffers with them, bless her. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Kate. Um, Tess, yeah, I'm mostly a streaming channel. I like to stream and chat. And I'm sorry, I know some people don't like the long, long streams, but I do try and condense them down and get as much as possible that I can possibly do in that time. Okay, so, the same with this part. I'm going to come into the middle. It's just that I can sort of talk you through as well, you know, what I'm doing step by step on a live stream. And then I get to talk to you all as well, so it's like a social aspect. Now, with these scales, there's not a huge amount on them. So, with my, I'm going to come to my pumpkin orange, which is PC1032. I need to sharpen it a bit, which would help. If I can find my sharpener. I just think live streams are nice to get to interact with people as well, don't you? You know, it's one of those things. I quite like live streams. I know it, I respect that some people like a mixture of both, um, but I don't know all those fancy fandangle things on how to speed them up, and I'm just not good with all that. And you think I would be, but I'm not. So I've got my pumpkin orange, and I'm gonna come from my edging inwards again, but not all the way because I want to leave some area for the lightest orange, the yellowed orange. Ah, uh, that's great, Tess. I mean, that's the, the, I did do the beginners, uh, for anyone that watches this back, I've got a beginners one on how to do skin, a beginners tutorial how to do skin. And it just kind of lets you grasp where shading goes and where light and dark hits the face. And I do plan to do another one coming up very soon where we're adding more colours in. So we can add more and we can start to, you know, experiment a bit more with colours. I mean, I do it now, as you can probably tell. I add so many other colours into my skin tones. But I think when you're first starting out, it can be a bit daunting, can't it? So it's nice to have like a mixture of streams where you can got beginners and then we're going to do like an intermediate. I'm not an expert, can't do the experts. So, I will go with the intermediate next. Um, but there's amazing tutorials out there, guys. So, if you have a look and mooch around on YouTube, you'll be able to find them. Okay, so, as you can see, I'm not coming into the middle because I am going to go back over with my lightest orange after. And with the towel end, I'm going to do that a little bit darker. So, I'm still with my pumpkin orange. But I had quite a few requests on how to make the koi fish look like they're realistic. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to jump on a live stream now and show you. I haven't sat with my phone today, 
Uh, I've been watching The Greatest Showman and sort of catching up with my rest because I was so tired, I only had three hours. Tess, keep going, keep doing it, keep trying. You'll get there. It took me two, well, no, it took me nearly three years to do darker skin, so, you know, it takes a while. How long have you been colouring? Right, then I'm going to grab Crimson Red in PC924. Oh my god, The Great Showman is amazing. My partner will vouch for me. I listen to that soundtrack every single day. I was just listening to Moana making a cup of tea to come on stream. Yeah, see, Tess, you're still, you're still learning. You're still, you'll get that. I'm still learning. Okay, so crimson red. With the scales, I'm going to come from the top part of the scales down. And I'm only going with a light pressure here. I'm not going with a heavy pressure. Just a very light pressure. Because you're going to do all your fancy shading in a minute. We're just laying down where we want our scales, where we want the colours, and then we start to shade. Yeah, I've watched The Greatest Showman three times now. It came out on DVD. Hiya! So, I, yeah, I've been sitting listening and singing away and watching that, and then we had a very late dinner. And, uh, yeah, I, I think I've driven my partner insane with that soundtrack. So, all the scales that are on here, we're still do, going to do with the crimson red. We're going to come in with a darker red after. And then add our fancy splotches on. Big splotches. And you first do it and you think, oh my god, I'm going to ruin it. But it's so effective, so you're not going to. Just be a bit daring. Hiya! Tell us a joke. I can't do jokes to save my life. Like, I really can't. It's like I'm as bad as the man that always tells their wife it's a chicken cross the road joke to get to the other side. You know, I'm that bad. I can't tell jokes. <laughs> so I tend not to. <laughs> I'm that terrible. Like, I just don't bother. <laughs> so what you been all up to? Because I know it's quite early over there, isn't it? I think, is it six or five or something? I don't blame her, Maddie. Go for it, Tess. The Mother Nature one. You can double up with me because I'm doing that if you want to. Anyone that wants to join me on the Serene picture that I'm doing, um, I'm not doing it on stream. But anyone that wants to join me, please do. Which is this one here. I'll show you. So anyone that's got Serene... If anyone wants to join me in colouring this one here, please do. I have started it. I've done the grapes. I've done her skin. And I've done the koi fish. So it's called Mother Nature. Oh, you're like me, Maddie. I don't go to bed till like a stupid hour. Okay, so we're going back to this. So with your scales, you just want to lay down where you want your scales to have their light and dark parts. And the same with going all the way down. And then we'll come in with our other colours and start shading. But you want to just, what I always say is plan it. So plan first, don't worry about fancy shading to start with. Plan and put down your colours to start and then go in with your shading. So you are kind of going from a harder pressure to a lighter pressure, but you're not doing it like for your final result here. You're just putting it and planning it out where you want to go. And then you can add stuff in after. And then with the bottom, I'm going to go upwards and fade it out. And it's the same with the sides. I've still got my crimson red. I'm not, I've not swayed from it yet. And then 
the same with the edging. You want to start kind of just plan out. That's the good thing about this kind of thing. It hasn't got to look perfect to start with. You're planning out your colours. So if anyone joins and you don't know which page I'm doing, I'm just doing one from the A to Z of Flora and Fauna by Kelly O'Gorman. Yeah, join me. <laughs> anyone, just join me. And thank you, Crystal. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. It's going to look totally different at the end. So we're just planning out where we want our shading to go. And then we can start shading it up and adding all our detailing in. So we're starting to get like an idea where we want the light and dark to hit. Now I'm going to come back to my pumpkin orange and we're going to go over that red. And we're going to start laying down that colour to be quite thick now. But we're still leaving the middle because you want your lightest orange to show through. So again, you're going over that and coming into the middle. And the same, you're not doing this on your scales, just on the body. Because now you can start layering up your colours. It's good to sort of plan it sometimes. And other times I always say... You know, my most favourite pictures have probably been not planned at all. But if you're doing this kind of thing and you know what colours you want, it's good to sort of plan where you're going to put them. So we're starting to build the detail up on it. Hi, Victoria. Yeah, you caught me because I'm at a very late time here. Then I'm going to go back to my yellowed orange. This is all Prismacolor, guys, and now I'm going to... Go to the very end and I want this because I don't want this part white because it's not white. The fish is not white. You have got white splotches on them, of course you have. You can do white splotches if you want. You can alternate them if you want. If you look at an image, a reference picture on Google of them, there are so many different types and so many different splotches that you can get onto a koi carp. Now I'm going to grab a dark red. My dark red is going to be raspberry. I love raspberry. It's underrated. Now I'm going to start darkening up the edges and bringing that in. And I'm going to do that on my scales as well. So I'm going over all these areas and bringing it into the middle. And anyone that wants to try a koi carp, by all means, use this, try it, tell me how you got on. And this is all raspberry now. There's a lot of layers, guys, a lot of layers. But we will end up with an end result like this. So we will get there. And then up into the same, into this part. Ah, I've got a saying, Natalie, I couldn't come on yesterday because of Chip. And I'm just catching up with everyone now because I've been flaked out on the sofa. So I just thought, you know what, I'm going to come on stream and I'm going to do the koi fish. So this bit again, I'm going to come back over because it needs to blend in. It's not blended in, so I'm going to come with my yellowed orange and just blend that part in. You are layering up, guys. We like some layers. So we like to layer up. Lots and lots of layers. But blending it in with your lightest colour, for me, is always the way. So you can always come back with your lightest shade and blend in the darkest parts. So that it gives it look, it gets rid of those lines, doesn't it? Now, with the scales here, I'm gonna go back to my raspberry and I'm gonna start how I did with the crimson lake. Now you're gonna start adding the final details onto the scales only. I'm going over those areas. I know it's a lot of work for a fish, but I do like the result. <laughs> so if you stick with it and you, people ask me how I do certain things and 
like I'm going to show you the long winded route because that is what I do. I take the long winded route. And the long winded route sometimes people haven't got the time for, which is fine. But that's how I do things. I layer and I take my time with it. So we're going with the raspberry and we're going over the, all of the scales where we were. And starting to shade it up so that they start to stand out as scales. But you are fading that out. So it's the same with these. You know, I'm I'm a sucker for layers and I love some layers. And layers can be tedious, but they also achieve a really nice result. But if you've got things like arthritis in your hands, you probably wouldn't opt for so many layers. Just take away some of the colours. You don't have to do as many as I do. Because I understand that not everyone can sit there and do so many, and that's fine, your hands might not allow you. But for those that can, try it. You know, just try it. Take that extra time on it. Yeah, I love, I love layering. <laughs> it's Natalie. It's our lovely Nat. So yeah, I thought I'd pop on and do this today because I'd missed my stream yesterday because of Chip. Bless him. He was up all night the other night. Jeez, I only slept three hours in total. And I was bent over him, which then did my backing because I was trying to clean it. He was sick about ten times. I'm not kidding you. And I was constantly clearing up sick all night. And I thought, God, is this what it's like to be a mum? Oh. <laughs> How do you do it? I want my sleep. I want my bed. <laughs> so now I'm going to just grab a blending pencil, guys, which is something I very rarely do. If I can find one. Hi, Katie. Yeah, he's okay. He's all right now. If I could show you him, you'd all laugh at him because he's upside down. I've just got a blending pencil and I'm just going to blend that bit out a little bit. Just the body. If I could turn the camera around and there was light on him, you would see he's upside down like not caring the world. But he's been very clingy. He's not left my side. Okay. So now we're going to go to the head, before we add all the black phosphor or anything on, we're going to go to the head. For the head, I'm going to grab again the yellowed orange. I'm just going to go over the entire area very lightly. I'm going to colour over these parts because I'm going to put those with black after. So I'm not going to go around them, that's too long winded. I'm going to go over them. Look over at the chat. Ah, hiya. Yeah. Um, I am working just to for the koi fish. It's the A to Z of Flora and Fauna by Kelly O'Gorman. Um, I'm just using it because it's got the koi carp and her. I love Kelly's art, and she's got the best koi carp fish in her books, in my opinion. I love her stuff. So I'm going to grab pumpkin orange. And I'm going to go from the top of the head down, and then the same here. I'm going to put these splotches in black after, because you're going to go over that with a paint pen. So I'm not going to go around them, I'm going to colour over them for now. And then we're going to add all the detailing in once the colouring's done, because that's the last thing you do. And then the same with this part, I'm going to come up. I don't want a massive amount of this colour in it, just to shade it a little. And then we'll go back over that again. So I'm going with like a, I'd say a medium to hard pressure at the moment. And then like I always say, you feather it out. It is. I mean, this is a K, and I've done a flip through of this on my channel. If you go back, you'll see the feature artist, which is Kelly O'Gorman, and I love her stuff. It's no, it genuinely is beautiful. I just wish I got more time to do it because there's so many books, isn't there? And you end up 
it, getting your times just between so many. I'm getting the crimson red now. And where I went with the pumpkin orange, I'm going back to those areas. I mean, if we just focused on one artist all the time, we'd not do anything. Because <laughs> our other books would be neglected. And as much as I really want to come back as soon as possible to Kelly's, I'm just like, I've got so many other things. And I'm like, I don't know what one to go to next. Uh, she's got, no, she's got a, um, yeah, hi KP, well, I call her Mummy P, hi Mummy P, um, you can get it through her Etsy store, if you go to Etsy, she's got a store, and if you type in Kelly O'Gorman, so, her name's there, I'll leave it there for a second, if you type in Kelly O'Gorman, she does ship worldwide, I think, if you have a look, so, not sure about how much shipping costs. But she's not far from me, the artist. She lives quite local to me. Uh, I think she's only like 20 minutes in driving distance. Her stuff is really nice. You know I like her stuff. So I'm still with the crimson red. Sorry, I just wanted to let people that watch this back. I just wanted to let the uh, ladies know what the book was and the name. So I'm going over the crimson red. Yeah, I had a few minutes. I think I've, I've not caught up with my messages yet. I've, I've gone through about three. I had about ten. So if I, I've not messaged anyone back, um, I'm sorry I'm getting around to it. <laughs> I just haven't looked at my phone today. Now I'm going to grab my raspberry because we're going to blend this in after. I've literally just picked my phone up this evening um, and I thought, well, I'm coming on stream now. So I'll catch up with everyone. So I'm not being rude. I just haven't looked, haven't seen them yet. I've seen that I've got messages, just not read them yet. I was like, ah, I really wanted to come on stream yesterday, but I honestly would not have been productive. I was knackered. my KP. <laughs> yeah, mum frames everything of mine, doesn't she? Uh, mum, mum's at home, probably asleep. Like, she phoned me up, she's like, are you going on stream? I'm, I was eating at the time. I was like, I'm, I'm eating dinner at the moment, mum. I'm like, she, <laughs> she was like, oh. <laughs> mum makes me laugh. So I'm going to go back to my... Um, what am I back to? I'm back to yellowed orange. And I'm going to blend this out with a blending pen. I actually am going to use a blending pencil. I just want to go around the edges that here. But koi carp are really bright, aren't they? And then I'm going to grab... I've just got a Derwent one, but you can use your Prismacolor one, which would be perfect. It's just this one was the closest one to hand. And I am just going to blend that out a bit. Try not to go over the dark black lines because you might smudge Derwent. One thing with the Derwent blenders is if you go over black lines, they seem to smudge those, the ink, which is so frustrating because the Prismacolor one doesn't do it. I very rarely use a blender, but I just feel like I need it today. So we've got contrast now. Now we're going to do the towels, the fins. I'm going to use Tuscan red on, you know, these parts here. These like, I don't know what they are. What are these? What are these guys? Sometimes I don't even know what they are myself. What is that? What is that? <laughs> and then I'm just getting the pumpkin orange going on that part. What is those things? I don't even know what they are, they're just like strings. Um, Natalie, I will probably be on for another 20 minutes, half an hour. Yeah, they're like whiskers. I don't know what they are. I wonder what they are. Someone got Google. Because my phone's filming. So I don't, I don't actually know what they are. Right, what colour do I want? I would like... Oh, I don't even know. I've got your fancy. 
Okay, I'm going to go with, I have to have a really sharp pencil on this bit. I'm going to go with the yellowed orange again. I'm going to keep with the same sort of theme. Now, you could do these individually, and if they were bigger and thicker, I'm, I would do that. So I've got my yellowed orange. I'm going to go down the part here, and I'm going to go from a harder pressure to a lighter pressure. And then I'm going to have that as like my lightest part. I'm going to do that as well. See you later, dear. What this Sunday? So I'm going again all over. And then coming down, I'm just planning it out where I want them. It's the same sort of technique as well if you've got mermaid towels. If you've got the scales, I usually do the scales individually. And I will do a mermaid, I promise you. I will do one soon. So I'm coming down here. Uh, Tess, personally I don't like the Carandash blender sticks, they're so thick and waxy. You can't beat the Prismacolor ones, if you're going to have a blender pencil, the, the, the best one for me is the Prismacolors. Just never had a problem with them. Right, I'm going to come up here. I honestly think, I've tried them all, I've got them all, and I don't use hardly any of them. I used the Derwent one, just because that was at hand, but to be quite honest, I always use the Prismacolor one. I don't know if anyone's the same, but I just love the Prisma one. It works with every single brand of pencil that you have. I'm just doing that all over, guys. Same here with the middle. I think Buzz has just got up. He usually gets up now. Yeah, they are. They can be scratchy. I mean, I'll tell you what. I was just going to sidetrack for a second. I've got a few. I've got the Prismacolor one. I've also got the Lyran Splendor Blend of, what is it called? That, so I've got the Coran Dash one. I've had this more or less from the beginning of colouring three and a half years ago. And I've still more or less got the whole thing. And I've also got this one. The Lyra Remembrance Splendor. This is okay. This is fine. Uh, but I generally use my purple colour ones. That's just me. Uh, I just uh, this is my last one. This is my favourite. I love this one. Alicia, what breed is my dog? He's a long-haired Chihuahua. Okay, so I'm back to my yellow orange. I'm still on my yellow orange. I was just um, showing the uh, oh blending pencils that I've got. But I generally, honestly, me personally. I just use my Prisma ones. The Lyra one's okay. The Lyra one is quite good and it's fairly reasonably cheap as well. So I'm coming up to this one as well. You know, I love all my pencils. I love all my books, all my pencils, all my supplies. There's not anything that I don't like. I'm going to be totally honest. I love it all. But you do lean towards certain things because they are just so reliable. Ah, oh, you've got a pug and a shih tzu. Oh. I love pugs. I love dogs. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, you know, you have certain things that you lean towards, don't you? I do love everything. You know this, KP. I love everything. So when people say to me, like, what's your least favourite thing? And I'm like, hmm... To be honest, they've all got different qualities, um, but I just love it all. <laughs> so I'm coming down again and I'm having just a light pressure. I'm just covering, you know, like I usually always say, cover your base area. And then once you've covered your base area, you're halfway there. See, Robin loves the Karandash one. We've all got different preferences. We all... 
you know, everyone has got their own things which they really like. I love everything, but I very rarely use a blending pencil when if I do, like on this paper, because this paper's thick, guys, very thick. And you know, with the thicker the paper, the more it's hard, like you have to put quite a lot of pencil lay down, don't you, to get rid of those white lines. And a blending pencil just like speeds up the process for you, that's all. So that's the only reason I was using it. Anywho, I'm going to now get to my crimson red. I'm not going to do the raspberry. We don't need the raspberry on this. And I'm going to go from the upper part of the fins down a bit. So we're going to go over the entire area and fade it out as we come down. So we're laying it down now. And it's all of this we're going to do. Oh, cockapoo, how beautiful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was just reading the chat. Get the neo, that's it. Get If you're going to get any supplies and you're not sure, get the smallest set to try. And then if it's something you like, you can always build upon it. I'll tell you now, I have very rarely been able to afford a full set of pencils to start with. So I bought singles and, you know, people say, oh, but you've got so many. It took me a long time to build those up because I unfortunately um, had that instant when my back completely went on me. And when my back completely went, so did work which was hard, it was hard going because I've always worked. And when that happened, it was a big hit financially. So I couldn't, I took on this hobby, which ultimately costs quite a bit of money. If You know, you want everything like you do, you can't help it. I didn't realize I can't afford all these things. So I'm gonna have to do it in stages and that's fine. So that's another thing I say to people, don't worry if you can't afford these things all in one go. None of us really can. And it comes in time. And then over time, before you know it, you've got your stuff. And you think, fantastic. So I'm just getting, a, I've just gone over the line. Um, so don't be disheartened as well. If you, you know, you see everyone with all these amazing supplies. It probably took them a long time to get those. <clears throat> yeah, everything works differently. So I'm still with my crimson red. I was just reading the chat. So I always say to people, if you want to try things, just get a few. And if you know you like them, then yeah. <clears throat> Your finger slip. Finger slippage. It is a very, 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 very common disease. <laughs> I call it a disease because it never leaves me. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's like one of those things I can't stop. I'm like, what happened? That wasn't me, that was my insomnia. <laughs> that is the worst time for me to go on my phone. It's like three o'clock in the morning and I'm like, oh my God, you should be sleeping. Let me look on Amazon. I look in the morning at my emails and I think, oh, I completely forgot I ordered that. When did I? Oh, that was right. I ordered it last night when I was awake. <laughs> I'm terrible. Someone should just ban me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what to the works, Alicia? I went there the other day, I was really disappointed. I'm going over all of these fins with the same technique and then we're going to add in, the, uh, I thought we're going to add in, we're going to add in a bit of raspberry at the end and blend it together and add our Posca, which will be fabulous. Does anyone watch um, anything to do with like Sharon Osbourne? When she's always like, that's fabulous, darling. <laughs> well, your Posca will do that fabulous work. So we're coming down, but we don't want it right to the ends because you want your, you want your orange to come through after. So we're just coming down 
we're planning it out we want to plan it out because we don't want to have it where it's just we don't know what we're doing <laughs> we do want it like some sort of structure to our color in here I have taken my painkillers guys and my um, other things so yeah I'm not totally with it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Robin, who knows, who knows how these things happen? Like, I say that all the time, and then, like, Andrew got a package through the poster, and he was like, what have you ordered now? And I was like, I genuinely don't know. I genuinely could not remember. And then I remembered, and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I ordered that a long time ago. <laughs> it's like I order my reading books, and they come to my Kindle, and I think, when did I order that? I can never remember. Oh dear, someone should just ban us. <laughs> but I never remember things, guys, like I genuinely don't. And I think, when did I do that? It's like I've got a couple of acrylic paints come through the post and I thought, when did I order them? And then I remembered it was like a week ago when I couldn't sleep. And I don't know how it happened, but it happened somehow. So that's the story of that. And that was what came in the post today. It was like, what is this? And I was like, um, I don't know. And then I looked on my Amazon. I was like, ah, they were some acrylic paints. And he was like, okay, what's next? We've got no room for this stuff. Uh, I said, I'll make room. I'll make room. It's fine. If there's a will, there's a way. How did I learn how to blend it? I just did it. Just came over time. Just like my first ever picture was felt tips or markers or whatever you know you refer to them as. And yeah, I wasn't happy with it, so I got some pencils and I ended up shading and it just came in time. Hey Pete, what book is this? This is the A to Z of Flora and Fauna by Kelly O'Gorman. I'm going to get, <coughs> I just need a, a sip of my tea. This is what we're aiming for, guys, this one. So we're getting there, but we've just got him a little bit more orange because I wanted him more orange. Okay, so now we've got the raspberry, and we're going to go quite a hard pressure on the inner part. And we're going to fade that out because we're going to bring our yellowed orange back to finish it off on the fins. And then <clears throat> we add our black Posca and our little white detailing. Okay, so raspberry goes down over the top because it's the darker red that I've got. And then we're going to bring the yellowed, yellowed orange. So we will end up with a result that we really like. I sent Andrew to the shop. It's midnight here, almost, and Andrew's gone to the supermarket, the big store, because he needed stuff, and I was like, well, you better go then. He's like, oh, I really don't wanna go. And I was like, just go. So off he went. So he's due home any minute now. He's a good man, isn't he? <laughs> He's committed. Because he didn't want to leave me without breakfast stuff in the morning. So he was like, oh, all right, I'm going to go. And I was like, can you please get me some sugar-free chocolate? He's like, okay. <laughs> because I really need some sugar-free chocolate. So I had my B12 injection as well. So I should have a little bit more energy, but I don't. I had that yesterday afternoon. So hopefully, I'm just going to go over my raspberry here, guys. We don't need to worry about the crimson lake on that bit. I'm just showing you how I do it. You can apply this to any koi fish. Absolutely any koi fish that you have, you can apply this. 
He is. I know it's midnight here. Yes, you do need some pasta pans. You need them. Treat yourself to some Posca pens. They're amazing. <laughs> I love Poscas. Oh my god, I love them so much. I use them all the time. Okay, well, with our raspberry, and then we're going to get our yellowed orange. Thanks for sticking me through this. Yeah, my, my words are getting all jumbled up. Ah, stick your head back. I used to um, suffer with them when I was a kid, Alicia, nose bleeds, funnily enough. So, going back to my yellowed orange, guys, and I'm just going to blend out the ends. I used to have to stick my head back, pinch the bridge of my nose, and hold it with a tissue. Oh, you need to get another one. KP. Did you get the very thin nib? I love my Posca. Do you know, I've not been without one in three years. I think Andrew's just come home. I think that's him. So Chip might stop barking. I'm just going to warn you now. He's going to start barking in a minute. Okay. So we're nearly there. Yeah, that's Andrew. You just know your partner's car when they come in, don't you? Andrew, Chip's going to start barking now. We're going over all of those ends of the fins with the yellowed orange. <coughs> there's, <laughs> there's Chip. He's in. Because Andrew's coming in. Okay, so you've gone over the, all of those areas. And then you're going to just blend in that part as well, all with your yellowed orange. Robin, do you use them? The pit pens? I can't comment on them, I don't ever use those. Okay, so, now we're going to get... I'm going to the eye, I'm going to need a fine liner. This is just a black fine liner. It's waterproof, but that doesn't matter. And I'm just going to go into this part here. And then I need my black Posca. And a white gel pen or a white Posca, you can use either. So I'm going to give you both options here. I'll take that off of there. Uh, you can use a white Posca or a white gel pen. Now, I'll show you the example. So once I've coloured this in, I'm in with your black. You've got to be very sort of careful on going over the lines. And then you're going to fill those in just with black. That's all I've done on my other ones. This is where, like, the magic, I call it part of the magic part because it just totally transforms the fish. And then we're going to start adding them on random places. So we're going to start, you see, it's starting to already bring it out. Hi, Bo. I think I sold them, the pit pens. And it's unlike me because I don't get rid of any of my supplies, even if I don't use them. Now we're going to start adding splotches. So you can randomly do these as you please. Um, you want big and small. Now you start filling them in. If I zoom in a little bit, I hope he's bought that ch chocolate in for me. I can't have anything sugar, guys. So every now and then I get Andrew to get me a bar of no added sugar chocolate. <gasps> you know there's certain just women just need chocolate. And I'm at that. I need a bit of chocolate. And someone's like, please get me some. You'd think I was like pregnant. I'm not. Because I've just been craving it all day. I don't, real, I don't want real food at the moment. I'm just like, I just want some chocolate. 
Shall I quickly see if you got me some? Two seconds. Got me some. <laughs> I know, I'm just scared to try it. This one is a no added sugar one by Choco Logic, and it's got it's a Belgian milk chocolate. Oh my god, it's amazing! I'm like, it's the only one, and I can only have a couple of them because I'm scared that I'll um, have a bit of a reaction like because i can't have sugar so i literally that is my lot for the day like i can't eat much so i'm gonna just sit here <laughs> um have a little bit while i'm talking to you <laughs> i'm like oh my goodness i've got my fix <laughs> i just need another cup of tea now okay so i'm gonna go back to this he's a dream Anyone that brings you chocolate and colouring pencils is a keeper. They're, you know, they are. Don't let them go. Mmm, <laughs> it's yummy, guys. Yummy. I haven't had chocolate in about two weeks now. Oh, yum. Okay, so if we're just drawing random splotches. Yeah, he's bought me pencils lately and he's bought, he got me those pro colours, didn't he, for my birthday. And now he's got me some chocolate and I'm like, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, yeah, nervous coming in. Hi, hi. So, also, I want just, I can go over one of the two of the scales. Now, we're going to also go over just a few. We don't need many on the towel you're doing random splodges you don't need to go fancy on these and um, same on this bit you could do this with a fine liner but i just think a posca just works best for me and then we're going to just do a little one here and there he's a good man isn't he I'll tell him in a minute when he gets in. And that is my black splodges. I might do one quick one there. And then with a white gel pen or a white Posca. Yeah, I got it. It's okay. Thank you. <laughs> he is a good partner. Andrew, you're a good man. You bought me chocolate. <laughs> Look where I stand, you're a good man. Mm -hmm. I am, Bo, I am. It takes time, that's all. Okay, now, with your white pen, I'm not going to do a load on here. I just want a couple. This is optional, I just like them. You just go, you know, with your little lines that you've got there. You sort of follow in a couple, you don't need masses. And then we got we got another one there, haven't we? Okay, just put them on the side. Yeah, see she needs to, doesn't she? She needs that marble one, KP. Hint, hint. So I'm going to put a little one in the eye. I need a new Posca pen. Mine's running out. Okay. And that is how I colour a Koi cup. So, it's slightly different, obviously. But if I come out, this one is without splodges. This one's with splodges. <laughs> so we've done that here as well. So if I leave that there, 
we've done the colours that we needed from the Prisma colours. I'm so sorry, I've got chocolate in my mouth. Now I shouldn't have, I should have thought this one out. Hope you don't mind. So if you want to give this a go on any Koi carp, you can do it in any one. So at the moment, I'm doing... Uh, one moment, guys. I'm doing this one. And this is on a much smaller scale. But I left it out of the head on this one because it's only tiny. Oh, no. And then... This one is what we've just done, so if you want to follow that tutorial, by all means, you can apply it to any koi carp that you want. You do not have to do it on this one from this book. So you can, you can do it and apply it to any single one. Like This is just on a bigger scale. This is on a medium scale and the serene is on a small scale. So I hope you find that helpful to those of you that watch it back, to those of you that are here with us. And tell me how you got on, because I'd love to see your results. I have been working on, that's the end of that tutorial, for those that watch this back. I have been working on slowly, but my back gave up on me yesterday. Uh, this one in the jewellery box this is hannah carlson's new one i did use some of the fine tech paints on some of these parts and i'm really enjoying this one if i zoom out again this is what i'm working on in my own time as well and i'm really really enjoying this i'm using holbein's on this one but i hope that this isn't a tutorial i'm just showing you what, I'm do what i've done over the last couple of days but i'm really enjoying this one so if anyone is planning on getting the english version of this Highly recommend it. It's so nice. The paper quality is exactly like we expect from Hannah Carls on. It's really, really good. It is slightly smooth, but the pencils seem to grab it really well and don't slide. I've not had a problem with it. And you know what I'm like with papers, because I'm always moaning that they're too slippery and too slidey. So I'm going to try and get an extra stream in somewhere so we can do this Hedgehog and Misfits. And then I'm still back on Saturday. We've got the Royal Wedding, so I'm not sure what time that is, actually. I have to look. But... Whatever time it is, once it's finished, I'll come on. <laughs> but I'm really not sure. So for those of you that watch this back, this is what we've just done. This is a tutorial that we've just done. We've done the Koi Carp. We've done it with Prismacolor pencils and two, two Posca pens. I just did a fine liner for the eye. You can use your Posca pen, of course. But we used yellowed orange. We used pumpkin orange. We used crimson red and we used raspberry. Those were our four colours for the fish and these were the other two that we needed. So it's not many, I mean really, and that's the result that you get. So I hope you enjoyed that. Oh hi Victoria, I'm just finishing up. So I just did a tutorial on how to do the koi carp. Um, so I am going to disappear now because it is, what time is it? It's ten past midnight here and I didn't want to not do something. I had some, you know, I, I need to do a couple of flip throughs as well um, of those Chinese books. I have filmed them, I haven't uploaded them yet. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's midnight, it's ten past midnight. <laughs> it's really late. But um, I am going to disappear now. So, sorry about a late stream. It's okay for those of you that it's not late for, but for those of you that join me and it is really late, you know. So, I'm going I'm to go now. Um, thanks for joining me. And I'll see those of you on Saturday. KP, they're from AliExpress, the Chinese books. Thank you, Tess. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you so much and have a great evening and good night and I'll speak to you all on Saturday. Bye.